The universe is a massive, unexplored place we don't know much about, and we will probably never get to know everything it hides. We actually know very little information about universes, and the things we know we are not very certain about. There are various events and objects in the universe that are completely unidentified. We always have some new questions to ask, some new places to explore and some new things to learn. Within the universe there are inexplicable energy bursts, planets and their moons. There are still so many things we still cannot explain, yet we keep on finding new things. Somehow it seems we are attracted to the things we do not know about. We are curious and it's in our nature to wish to explore and know more. The universe has always been an interesting topic to talk about, and many people find themselves wondering about it. Out of all the things we know and wish to know, here are some of the mysteries of the universe. Jupiter's Red Storm and the Unexplained Colour Jupiter's red storm has been swirling around for hundreds of years. We don't know the source of its distinctive red colour and it still remains a mystery to this day. Some scientists have been doing laboratory experiments in order to produce the same colour. The researchers found out that possible temperature and radiation might be playing very important roles in changing the colour of transparent materials forming in clouds. One of the main suspects is the ammonium hydrosulfide, which is a type of salt. This salt seems to be quickly decomposing at specific atmospheric temperatures and conditions on our planet, which makes it really hard to investigate. For those who have never heard of this, ammonium hydrosulfide is the third most abundant cloud component found on Jupiter. Ammonium hydrosulfide is a part of Jupiter's atmosphere, but it does not exist as a gas. This cloud component should be considered as salt grains mixed up with another material. The hydrosulfide is actually completely transparent, but in the clouds of Jupiter this salt does not sit in isolation. The cosmic rays travel through space, planets and its clouds. These rays coming from the outside of the solar system, possibly even outside the Milky Way, and they might be able to change the colour of the souls. It's believed that Jupiter's red spot has been swelling for at least 150 years. The famous storm actually shrunk and became a lot smaller for the past few years. Back in the days it was estimated to have been the size of three Earths. What is actually hiding beneath the crazy storms of Jupiter? Will they ever stop and how are they formed? No one truly knows but it's surely to leave us with an interesting mystery to think of. The formation of Saturn's ring still remains a mystery. Saturn is one of the planets that really stands out. It's much larger than Earth and it's been calculated that over 700 Earths would be able to fit inside Saturn. Saturn is not the only planets with rings though. Uranus, Jupiter and Neptune also feature rings around them. However, Saturn's rings are the brightest and biggest we know about. The rings we see on Saturn are thousands of miles wide. Galileo was the first person to notice the rings of Saturn. He noticed these rings almost 400 years ago in 1610. Saturn's rings have been an important topic between scientists since then, and there's one thing we surely know about the rings of Saturn. They are made of rock and ice. Some of these are small as a grain of sand, while others are as large as houses. The thing bothering all of the scientists is how were all these rings formed? One of the theories claims these rings actually had something to do with many of Saturn's moons. Unlike Earth, Saturn has at least 60 other moons orbiting around it. Many meteorites and asteroids crash into the moons of Saturn and break into pieces. Some people believe the rings are actually made from all the broken moons. Looking at Saturn from far away, it looks as if it has seven massive rings around it and each of them was named after a letter of the alphabet. Some of the rings are really close together while others have massive gaps between them. Saturn's rings never sit still. They circle around Saturn at extremely high speeds. The Bahotis Void, an empty space area. When we look up at the sky at night, we usually get the impression that stars are infinite, while in reality it's not like that. The stars coalesce into galaxies, and then galaxies all together join to form various clusters. There is a strange thing in space named the Bahotis Void. This is a massive expanse of completely empty space in the universe. It's nowhere like anything we've seen before. This void was discovered by Robert Kirshner and his team back in 1981. 
Bahuti's Void is actually a massive spherical regional space, located near the constellation Bahuti's. This void is actually 700 million light years from our planet. There is no real explanation of how this void even appeared and what caused it. It's believed that Bahuti's Void is actually the most perfect vacuum in space, and since its discovery many astronomers had to backtrack their thoughts of galaxy formation. Bahuti's Void is actually a great reminder of how huge and massive the universe is, how we know so little about it and how we are probably never going to guess all the answers right. The Mysterious Hot Jupiters The last 10 years have been extremely successful at finding new exoplanets. We have found nearly 2,000 new exoplanets and that's a huge step in our space discovery. Most of these exoplanets belong to a class named Hot Jupiters. These exoplanets remind many of Jupiter, but they are much, much hotter. All of them tend to orbit very close to their stars which is rather unknown to us. At first, Hot Jupiters were thought as oddballs. We do not have anything like them in our solar system. Hot Jupiters became a common thing in our exploration of the universe, which means it's our solar system that is not completely normal, not the other way around. Hot Jupiters are still a huge mystery to us, and no one really knows how they got formed, and how they managed to go so shockingly close to their stars. After observing Hot Jupiter, better known as HD 80606b, the Spitzer Telescope found new clues. The planet is very unusual and features a widely eccentric orbit, swinging extremely close to its stars and back. The exploration of this planet helps out in a study that might help answer some questions. How were these hot Jupiters formed and how do they manage to get so close to their stars? Zombie stars are actually a real thing. Space is extremely weird. Knowing all of the things we know, there are still many things that have left us confused. The universe itself is a very confusing story, so there is really no way for us to get more confused than we already are. If you've never heard of zombie stars, it might be the right time to get confused. Back in August 2014, NASA discovered a star system that was actually a victim to a supernova explosion. For those who do not know, when the star supernova, it means completely game over. Surprisingly, zombie stars have proved us wrong on this one, and scientists have discovered that part of the system may have survived, and now we have zombie stars. This might have happened because the supernova was a weak one. In this case, the explosion would have actually damaged the star, but not enough to completely destroy it. Star zombie has not been officially confirmed, but it's a great explanation of how some stars can get completely blown away, but still hang on just enough to be there. Another interesting thing about zombie stars is they actually scream as they eat other stars. NASA explains this as dead stars emitting high energy x-rays, which results in their howling or screaming. The questions here are how did these stars survive the supernova, and are these indestructible stars? How is the universe going to end? It's obvious that one day the Earth will die. The sun will completely scorch it when expanding into a massive red giant. Luckily this event will not happen for another billion years or so, but what happens when the universe ends? How does it happen? It's not even certain the universe will ever die at all. The universe might be infinite. Anything said about the universe cannot be confirmed, so it's all speculations. According to some scientists, the universe will die due to the heat death. This is best explained by saying that everything we know actually operates via heat differences. The heat itself will most probably die, and that will be the moment when our universe will completely freeze. There are many theories describing the death of the universe, but not a single theory has been confirmed. There is no proof the universe is going to end at all, and all we can do is hope that we are not even alive when it happens. There are other theories that could explain our survival. Some of the transhumanists and technologists believe we might be able to survive the apocalypse and fly off into a whole different type of universe or dimension. Whether or not that is ever going to happen we do not know, but it sure seems like a great idea for our survival. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.